What is up, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to our final episode of our Collection 6 Design Inspiration videos. And in this episode, we are talking about, you guessed it, our Born Again tea. So, uh, this shirt, uh, you know, like obviously there's a lot of shirts out there. They got the little square and they got like the fonts inside of it. Uh, but I think what makes this one special is the, uh, the way that born is spelled upside down and backwards. And the idea specifically has to do with the idea of baptism, right? Because what happens in baptism is that it is an outward representation of an inward transformation. And so when we go down under the water, we're almost flipped upside down. And when we come out of the water, we're raised to new life. So it's symbolic, right, of showing that we have died to ourselves and that now we live with Christ. And this comes from... Uh, Galatians 2.20, there's obviously more verses on it, but Galatians 2.20 is a pretty big one. And I'm gonna read that real quick. I'll throw it on the screen for you guys. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So when we think about what it means to be a Christian, this is, this is honestly what it is. It's that we are to die to ourselves every single day and to, to put away the desires of our flesh and our wants in the world and replace them with what God wants, right? And that obviously comes less about trying to figure out, God, what is my calling in life? What is like my purpose? You know, what, what, what career should I pick? All those things. It has more to do with his will for us in his life, which has to do with uh, a state of behavior. It has to do with our posture towards our relationship with God and with others. Uh, and ultimately it's obedience in the things that God has called us to, which he lays out very clearly in scripture. And so we actually talked about in our last video, uh, first Thessalonians five, 16 through 18 about the unity t-shirt. Uh, I'm sorry, not the unity t-shirt, the roses over thorns, <clears throat> which says, uh, rejoice always pray continually. And then it talks about, um, giving thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God. And so, a part of that is just understanding this overall principle that we don't no long we no longer get to live to ourselves. We don't live by our sinful fleshly desires anymore that we did in the past in our old life, but in our new life we live in Christ. And we're constantly renewed by that. But it, it, it's a constant reminder to us and specifically why we designed this shirt. Because remember, we have three different ways that we kind of go with t-shirts. We either go in a way where it's a conversation starter about Jesus. It is uh, a way to promote the gospel to, to people that are believers and non-believers uh, wherever we go. And then lastly, it can be an encouragement to us in our faith. And we kind of see this going into the categories of being a conversation starter, uh, as well as being an encouragement to our faith. And uh, maybe people want to ask questions They're like, what does that even mean? Born again. And that gives you a perfect opportunity to talk about that. More than anything, when I wear this shirt, it reminds me that I don't get to live by my desires anymore. That as a Christian, being a follower and disciple of Jesus Christ, that I have to put away those things and I have to live for Christ. And that is a daily thing. It's not a one-time thing. It's not a, you know, I did it when I said the prayer and repented. Like this happens every single day because we face the temptations and we battle against the flesh and the spirit. And so... Uh, we just hope that this shirt is encouraging to you. Uh, if you haven't memorized Galatians 2.20, then we would encourage you to memorize that because that's the, the verse that goes with this shirt. Um, if you have not snagged one of these shirts yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Uh, and also, if you haven't been baptized yet, man, I just want this video and this shirt to be an encouragement to you to get baptized. Scripture calls us to do it. No, it does not determine your salvation. I know that's a hot take, but... Uh, we are called to get baptized and it's honestly, it, it shows the seriousness of your faith. And so we are not called to live in fear, but to live uh, by God and to trust in him and uh, to abide in him in his spirit. And so uh, we would just want to encourage you, if you haven't been baptized before, make it happen. Like reach out to someone that you know that is a believer, reach out to your pastor, tell them what you want to do. Tell me you want to get baptized. Don't schedule it a month out. Go get baptized tomorrow. Find a pool. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or elaborate. Um, but go get baptized, like make this thing happen. And, uh, for those of you that are baptized already, like 
Yo, buy this shirt. Let this be an encouragement, a reminder to you that that baptism wasn't just a one-time announcement, uh, but that it is is constantly an everyday battle for us to die to ourselves and to live for Christ. So let this be an encouragement to you guys. If you haven't snagged a shirt, snag one right now. If you already have one, wear the heck out of this thing uh, and represent that gospel and share that truth with others and other believers as well. Because honestly, if we're being completely honest, there's a lot of believers that don't really want to die to ourselves every day and want to continue to live in their flesh. And that's not a good represent, representation of who Christ is. And so uh, let's hold each other accountable because we are called to judge as believers within the body of believers. It's in 1 Corinthians 5. You can go check it out. But anyways, we love you guys. And uh, with that being said, let's go grow the kingdom together. <laughs>